Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I will be evaluating new cash for Chapter 4 of our Fit Small Business case study for small business accounting software. Chapter 4 deals with banking and cash management. So the first thing we're going to look at is what it takes to reconcile our bank account. So this is a key step in the bookkeeping process. You need software that's going to help you accomplish this task. So uh, to reconcile account in our chart of accounts here, we're going to highlight the account, our checking account, and then we're going to go up to actions and reconcile. So they want to know the statement date. Let's just say the statement date is today's date. That's fine. The starting balance is zero and our ending balance is, uh, I have a bank statement in front of me and the ending balance is 11,000. 770. Okay, um, so let's click OK. Good, so this brings up what looks to be a very standard reconciliation screen, which is great. Um, so I'm looking through my bank statement. The opening balance in my bank statement is 10,000, so we won't have to deal with opening balances in subsequent months, but this is the first month I'm using the software, so we have to go ahead and check that off. Now I'm just going to go through, these are the, these are the transactions on my, uh, in my bank register within the new cash, and I'm comparing them to my actual bank statement. So, oh, I look at my bank statement, yep, there's the $3,200 deposit, there's the $300 deposit, there's the $230 deposit. Very good. Now I go through my checks. Yep, I'm finding all of these checks on my bank statement, except for this last check to the state of New York. It must have taken a few extra days to clear, so it is not cleared yet, and so I'm not going to check it. So, of course, this is all just a hypothetical. Um, this is just all a hypothetical bank statement I'm looking at. Okay, so we can see that we're $17 off. So I look at my bank statement, and it appears to me the reason we're $7, $17 off is that was our bank service charge. And so we never entered our bank service charge. So now the question is, can I add a bank service charge here without leaving this screen? Um, what if I, I, actually I bet under transaction? Hmm. No. What about edit? Hmm, so this brings us to our checking account. Yeah, I guess this is where I could do it. So I'm going to put a description here of, I don't know, we'll say I'm banking with U.S. Bank, so I'm going to just describe it as U.S. Bank. The account is going to be bank service charge. It's probably going to make me set up a new account. Does not exist. Do you want to create it? Yes. Okay, let's make sure that we record it as an expense. Show that this is an expense account and it's a top level account called bank service charge. So that looks good. Now it's a withdrawal from our bank of $17. Okay, now let's save this. Save transaction. Now let's close it. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to Windows and see if our bank reconciliation is hiding somewhere. No, it looks like that closed our bank reconciliation. So let's open it back up. I don't know if we'll have to redo everything we've done. Um, so let's go Actions, Reconcile. Yeah, it looks like we're having to redo everything we've done. So that's not that's not great. So if you're, you know, if you're through a six or seven page reconciliation and all of a sudden you find a transaction you have to add and to add it, you have to close out and completely start over. Um, that's not a great deal. Okay, well, you know what? So I take that back. I did have to re-enter the ending balance, but then it did pull up all the transactions and mark them exactly as I had before. Okay, so I take that back. It is letting me continue where I left off. I just had to re-enter the ending balance in the checking account again. Okay, well now we see our $17 service charge here, so I'm going to select that, and there we go. We have zero balance uh, for a difference. Perfect. Okay, so now we're reconciled. I'm going to click this finish. Oh, 
Okay, well, I want to have a reconciliation report. So I have that, that $27 to the state of New York as an outstanding check. I want to be able to track that. Every month I want to look at what are my outstanding checks, make sure they make sense. Once an outstanding check is, you know, four or five months old, you need to investigate and see what happened. They lose the check. Was it ever actually issued? Is it just an accounting mistake perhaps in your system? Um, so we need to keep track of our outstanding transactions. So let's go to reports here. And I'm really hoping we can we can uh, print a reconciliation report of some sort. Oh, I should have looked down here first, right here, reconciliation report. Okay, edit report options. So we want the report to be for, okay, time period I think is fine. I think we just need to specify which account we want it to be for, and we want it to be for our checking account. Okay, and I think if we hit apply, and close. There we go. So here are all of our reconciled transactions and here are our reconciled. So whatever is called our unreconciled, that is going to be our outstanding checks or deposits in transit could be that we want to keep track of to see, make sure that they eventually clear. Okay. Um, good. So it is a little, it's not a great reconciliation report in that it doesn't really show the beginning and ending balances on the bank statement. It shows kind of net, it shows, <laughs> it doesn't show a net balance. It shows funds in and funds out, which I've said before, I hate that description. Those are debits and credits. Um, so uh yeah there we go but that not a bad report at least it shows this it, it's it's a really it's pretty good reconciliation function function i like basic reconciliation functions a lot of your free software um, basically have punted on reconciliation and they really just demand you to hook up your bank account to the software everything comes over and as long as it matches it's assumed it all reconciles i know they do it because for simplicity but reconciling your checking account is a very basic very important internal control process in your bookkeeping um, and so I really don't like when when software doesn't allow it essentially um, so big thumbs up to new cash on their bank reconciliation okay so other things we want to know about banking um, can the software connect to your bank account and actually I'll tell you what I was a little bit surprised but new cash can so if we go up here to tools and we go to online banking setup again see everything's one <laughs> real problem I have with new cash is everything is just scattered about right so it would be nice if they had a banking section so some banking activities you do over here under first you got to chart of, go to chart of accounts and highlight it and then you go to reconcile now to and then to view the reconciliation report you have to go over here to reports and now to set up our online banking we're going to go under tools another way to import transactions is to go over here under file and import I mean so things are just all over the place they need to have a banking center right kind of like you have a customer center or a customer overview so a banking overview where you go and all of your banking functions are in one place um, so that's just that's just me venting I guess um, <laughs> I, new cash again some of the functionality is actually fairly decent but it is hard to use because it is just scattered everywhere there's very little organization so let's go to online banking setup okay so uh, initial online banking setup okay it kind of tells you what you need you can hit next and it actually is going to give you a banking wizard it uses the external program aq banking i'm not familiar with that but there are several different um, services that will that provide this connection between the software and the bank so i think if you start this wizard essentially um, you'll have to go through and you'll have to uh, give it the username. So first off, make sure that you have online access to your bank account because that's what's going to happen. It's essentially going to connect to your bank account using your online credentials. Okay, um, so make sure you have that set up. Then you'll have to give at some point, you'll have to give this banking wizard your user ID for your bank, your password for your bank. Uh, that generally will then log you into your bank and you'll then have to give permission to your bank to share your information with new cash. 
um, every bank is going to be a little bit different in what the interface looks like so I can't test the interface here um, because again this is just a made-up company so we don't actually have a bank account to test the interface but this is where you would get to it it has a wizard um, that you could that will help you get through the process now some people aren't comfortable giving the software their bank credentials and letting it have access to their account and so the be second best thing you can do is to actually just transfer all of your bank transactions into the software and again you can do that with new cash as well by going over here to file and import and you can uh, you can import bills and invoices you can so if you do use so invoices in this program are really bad I mean they just look so generic so if you use a there are a lot of free invoicing programs Zoho invoice is totally free forever so if you use something like Zoho invoice they make awesome invoices you can import them then into this bookkeeping software um, so here you can import an OFX or QFX those are particular financial uh, financial formats of reports that you can often download from your uh, bank if your bank doesn't offer those types of reports um, you can import transactions from a CSV and so if we click on that it'll walk you through exactly how to do that it'll tell you where you can find the format uh, in or order to get your CSV file formatted correctly and it'll take a little bit of a little bit of practice but you will be able to import your transactions through this wizard so all in all I'd say probably so far the strongest function of new cash so so far we've reviewed their accounts receivable their accounts payable and their cash management cash management is by far um, their strongest feature out of these three I love the bank reconciliation uh, you can hook up to your bank account you can upload transactions from your bank very good again I kind of wish all those functions were maybe in the same place instead of having to to click all over the place um, but the functions are good once you find them okay so let's go uh, that was our chapter let's go ahead and score it in our scorecard here so yeah the software connects to the banks it uploads transactions from a file um, it does a really great bank reconciliation um, I tell you what the uh, on entering a monthly service fee yeah I'll, I'll give it credit for that so we had to go to a different place but then you can reopen your reconciliation without losing everything um, you can view your outstanding transactions in that report um, you can save the reconciliation and return later we we actually did that when we clicked over to the uh, uh, to add another transaction and there was also I saw a place um, instead of finalizing the reconciliation you can basically put the reconciliation on hold and there is a reconciliation report I don't like the fact that it doesn't print automatically or give you the choice to print it as soon as you finalize it you have to close it and then go to the reports and find it under the reports tab um, oh what about credit cards do credit cards have the same features definitely you can reconcile a credit card so you could go here and you could click reconcile and that should open a reconciliation just like it did for the bank account and you could actually I think you can reconcile any account that you want to the most common to reconcile would be your your checking accounts your bank accounts and your credit card account so we can definitely reconcile a credit card account can we can we uh, hook up a credit card account directly to the software I'm just kind of reading here to see if it talks about credit cards I'm guessing that this most of the time it's exactly the same whether it's a credit card or a bank account uh, accessing it directly from the bank website is exactly the same yeah reading through here this may be a little bit more complicated um, than in some other programs okay so it doesn't specifically say it and unfortunately we don't really have a way to test it but based on every other program I've I've reviewed generally credit card connecting your credit cards is exactly the same process as connecting your uh, bank accounts and I'm sure we can still go over here to file and import and import transactions because as part of this process if you read through it you tell it which account within the software you want to match these transactions to and so we would simply import the transaction match them to our credit card account okay so it does do that so 
new cash is scored very close to perfect um, on our banking and cash management score. So that is definitely a strength of new cash. Uh, this has been Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business, and this was Chapter 4 of our Fit Small Business case study for new cash.